The Dr. Ray Podcast is a co-production of Ave Maria Radio and EWTN Radio. Here's today's monologue with Dr. Ray Guarendi. My grandfather, Angelo Quarante, went through Ellis Island when he was 17 years old. The immigration officer asked him his name. He said, Quarante. Now, my grandfather could not speak a lick of English. He carried that heavy Italian accent to the day of his death. I remember when I was a kid, had a tough time understanding him. Rabbit! What are you done? So, when he said Quarante, the immigration officer wrote down G-U-A-R-E-N-D-I, Garendi. And people will say, is that Italian? Well, it was. I still am, at least in that sense. I'm American, but my, my ancestry is Italian. My father, my grandfather, they were sticklers for manners. The rule was, if you're Italian, you go to Mass on Sunday, and then you go to Grandma's house to eat dinner. I did that with my family up until I was 23 years old. It was law. It was Italian law. I'd walk in the house, and the first thing I'd hear, Rabbit! You say hello? Oh, hello, Papo. How are you? I'd shuffle in. I was 13, 14 years old, slouching my way in. I'd leave. I'd be going out with my mom and dad. Rabbit! You don't want to say goodbye? To him, manners were respect. You said hello. You said goodbye. You said please. You said thank you. You said excuse me. You had to say it with an Italian accent. So here's the question. Are manners still a part of your closest relationships? I think we get pretty sloppy with the people closest to us. We don't really say please as much. Some of us don't have the manners of a five-year-old. Have you noticed that? Out in public, a five-year-old gets a cookie. What do you say? What do you say now? The kid looks at you like this is the first time you've ever brought this concept up. What's the magic word? Then being a better parent, you, you take your nails and you grab some fleshy body part and you start to squeeze. See? Thank you. Ow! Hurting me. Why do we emphasize manners so much with a five-year-old, but yet in our own marriage, please, thank you, excuse me, that's great, slip away. Hey, uh, honey, give me a cup of coffee, would you? Now, that kind of sounds nice because you asked. You didn't say, get me a cup of coffee. You said, would you? But that doesn't substitute for please. doesn't substitute for thank you. Manners are more than just courtesy. They convey dignity. I think enough of you that I'm going to speak with respect. My grandfather was Italian. Respect was big. Respect was real big. Raymond, is that a how you ask? What do you say to your mother? Do you say, do you say, hey, mom, give me that? Or do you say, mom, may I please have that? He had a third grade education. Third grade. My grandmother was a smart one. She had the sixth grade education. But yet they had enough common sense to recognize that in human interaction, please, thank you, little tiny things that you just thousands of times teach a five-year-old. By the time they're 14, they get sloppy. We parents get lazy. We figure the 14-year-old should know to use manners, but they don't. A lot of 14-year-olds don't even have the manners of a 5-year-old. By the way, one of the most important things we did was teach our kids manners. Because when we go to restaurants, if you had some little kid going, please may I have some more water? The waitress would always go, oh, honey, that is so sweet. No, no, no. No, you're going to get three more cookies. And then you say it really loud. Say it really loud so that the older couple, one booth away, hears your kid saying this. And when you get up to leave, the waitress says, your meal's been paid for. Really? Who? 
Well, there was an older couple in here, and they were just so impressed with your kids. I estimate that please and thank you probably saved me six, eight thousand dollars over the course of the kids growing up in meals. That's how important manners are. More of Dr. Ray's Manologues can be found on his website, drray.com. Manologues, as well as full-length programs of The Doctor Is In, can be heard at AveMariaRadio.net and EWTN.com slash radio.